Happy uh, Tuesday evening. Taco Tuesday, everybody. Little updates on where I'm at uh, with the fuel lines. Ran them along there. This is a 5 8 line. And I went ahead and redid all this. This was all kind of looking age. It's been about 10 years, 14 years. Looks 100% better than it looked. All new lines. The other line was uh, 14 years old. That gas tank, that's that's a uh, Danachuk, one of the first Danachuk gas tanks. All stainless. This tank, believe it or not, is almost 50 years old. Look how good that looks. Just take care of it. There's the rear end. That is a Curry 9-inch. see Curry right there. There's all the detail on it. all the... Stainless brake lines, um, all new springs. I didn't plan on doing this, but it just got out of hand. It just, it just happened that way. I cannot stand to do anything half-assed. Uh, everybody says, oh, you're crazy, powder coating, everything. That's gonna last forever. Just like that gas tank, it's lasted 50 years. This, this is my frame, it's a Daytona frame. It is one piece. It has been. Uh, let me let me uh, let me support the 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 thoughts on anybody who wants to powder coat anything. This was powder coated. Uh, probably have to be fifty years ago. Also, uh, I had it. Um, first they uh, dipped it, then they blasted it, then they. Uh, uh, did the interior of the frame is primered, and of course the outside, fireworks going off, and then um, a primered and then um, powder coated the black, and it's held up really nice, real nice. It, of course, brake fluid doesn't like it, and of course you're going to have to weld into it. Uh, when you want to ground something, you've got to grind the paint off of it. When you want, excuse me, when you want to ground something out, like something down, like this pump right here, I have to ground it out, and you have to grind the uh, the the paint off because it's baked on there. But uh, here's the update on the rear end. Uh, see the, uh, see the uh, crazy uh, drive shaft. Uh, this probably will spend some time on its rear bumper. I have the wheelie bars that go on it. Uh, we don't know yet. Uh, it depends on if I get another sponsor. I've had two, and because of the economy, I had they they bowed out. I I, I can't blame them, and they've been great. I, they did so much. This this couldn't not have been possible without my sponsors. And that is uh, Capistrano Cores and Metals, and um, also Nitro Cool Ranch. Um, Nitro Cool Ranch, Sean Parker. He uh, is responsible for a lot of the welding, a lot of the, a lot of the machine work, uh, a lot of the assembly underneath here. Um, but I'm going to do a detail, complete detail on everything once I'm done. Uh, the fuel system will be wrapped up. That's your return line. Uh, so we have five eights going into the into the five eights going into the carburetors, and the return line is a uh, half inch, I believe. But I went with all new A, and I don't want any leaks. Uh, the Aero one thousand A pumps fuel pumps. This thing has been here f without failure for almost 15, 15, 14 years. In the filter, clean as a whistle, we checked that. This, of course, the tank is nice and clean. I put a new, uh, put a new gauge, sender unit in there, sender unit in there when we put it back up. But uh, this is it. This is gonna get buttoned up. Once this is done, then the, the lines for the transmission, you can see the cooling uh, that's the wires hanging right there for the cooling fan on the transmission cooler, which is right there next to the drive shafts. 
that is my next project after the fuel the fuel systems to be put in tested uh pressured up and make sure there's no leaks i never was a big fan of the push type uh system but how can i complain when the system i had in the car lasted me 14 years and the only reason i'm changing out is the other one is just dry and brittle but there you go there's an update uh, like I say, transmission's next. Once the transmission's done, a couple of minor things, then we're going to put cooling in it, and in the motor, and check for leaks there. Um, and then uh, if there are no leaks, I'm expecting one leak. But if there are no leaks, everything's good. We're going to fire this puppy up. If I did not have to work, and I work on I work online every day, and, and I play online, which I shouldn't, but I do. Um, I, I I can have this ready in a week. Now I've I've gotten so many invitations to be someplace. I'm not committing to nothing. Excuse me, I'm not committing to anything until this is done. Anybody looking for a wizard bike? I got a wizard and I got another, it's called a panther bike right there for sale. If anybody's looking for some gas powder motorcycles, which they are not. Anyway, everybody have a nice, uh, nice week. Uh, that's an update for me. And um, I have some new Canadian uh, followers. Say hi to them and thank them for uh, all their comments back. Everybody have a great day, or a week, I should say. Bye.